I think it is for a complex trade deal like what we're talking about uh, between Britain and the EU 27. Um, I suppose it all depends how much you want to change from the status quo, but the more you want to change from the status quo, the more complicated it will be. And what do you make of his um, supposition that the best we can hope for is a Canada-style deal? What would that actually mean for the UK? Well, it would mean a, a certain level of uh, free trade uh, access uh, uh, for Britain. I think we might be able to negotiate uh, tariff-free access for our manufacturers as long as we made an undertaking to conform to European standards. So I think we could make progress there. I don't expect there to be much substance on services. And of course, the, the key thing from a British economic perspective is that it's services where we're really very strong. It's services where we have a huge trade surplus with the EU. And if we face uh, the barriers uh, that we uh, presently we don't have, which I think is likely if, um, if the government goes ahead with its determination to leave the single market, then I think that could be very damaging to key sectors of the British economy. That's interesting. And how damaging do you think it will be to certain sectors of the British economy that we could be in this situation where it will be, as you say, absolutely years to get through a complex negotiation? Because everybody that we get in, certainly on this show, says we can, we can basically deal with anything. We just need certainty. We need to know when. Yes. We need to know well, what it's going to look like. Isabel, I, I share that view. Um, I, that's why I favour a transition deal, not an implementation deal. And I think that in the last 24 hours, the difference between those two things has become clear. What we need and what the you know, business leaders yesterday were demanding was certainty in the first three months of next year about what is going to happen in the next couple of years. And I think that um, what we should be negotiating now is a transition where basically we stay in the single market market and customs union while we negotiate the, this very complex free trade agreement. And I think that would take at least two years until 2021, possibly longer. Um, what Mrs. May in the House of Commons yesterday uh, was talking about was an implementation deal which would follow an agreement as she sees it ne by next October. Now, I think this is uh, not realistic. I don't think business will regard it as realistic. And I think the cost of not having a genuine transition to allow time for negotiation could be thousands and thousands of jobs migrating to the continent. And why do you think that's not realistic then? Because I think that doing a, a, the, Mrs. May has said she wants a deepened special partnership with the EU. She is envisaging uh, a close relationship, but it will all have to be negotiated sector by sector. I mean, what do we do about agriculture? What do we do about financial services? What do we do about broadcasting? What do we do about aviation? What do we do about the nuclear sector, about pharmaceuticals? Each of these sectors has huge numbers of issues that need to be thrashed out. Uh, and I just don't think it's realistic.